In the Test Steps menu on the FSA software, the Test Step Primary Ignition is selected. Information on the connection type can be called up at any time via the Help menu F1. Insert the oil temperature sensor into the dipstick tube. Ensure that the depth stop is adjusted to the same length as the dipstick. The dipstick is replaced by the oil temperature sensor. For vehicles without an oil dipstick, an infrared temperature sensor is available as an optional accessory. For voltage and engine speed measurement, the battery leads are connected to the battery. Firstly, the black negative lead is connected to the battery, and then the red positive lead is also connected. Then the 30 amps current clamp is fitted across all cables connected to the positive terminal of the ignition coil, here terminal 15. Observe the direction of the arrow of the current clamp, it must point to the ignition coil. It's also important that the probe is fully closed. There are several options for adapting ignition coils. For simple adaption, range of vehicle-specific adapter cables are available as optional accessories. Alternatively, the universal Y adapter cable can be used. The image demonstrates the connection of the universal adapter cable with the primary adapter cable supplied with the FSA. The yellow end of the universal cable is connected via the vehicle-specific adapter cable to the positive terminal of the coil, here terminal 15, followed by the green ends of the universal cable, which are connected via the vehicle-specific adapter cable to the ground side, here terminal 1 of the ignition coil. Once the engine has started, the ignition signals of the primary circuit are displayed on the oscilloscope, as well as the measured values. In conjunction with the Compact Soft Plus subscription, set point values, shaded light blue, are also available for evaluating the measured results. A record of the primary ignition test can be saved in the customer database and printed out for the customer as a test report.